Hey guys, it's your boy Jay Kabata back here with another video. I'm excited to say that I finally reached 500 subscribers. This was my goal by the end of this year and I'm just super happy to say that I've reached that now here in April. I'm gonna be doing a giveaway for one person. I'm gonna give that person $100 to invest in any stocks or crypto that they want. And then I'm also gonna give you guys 45 minutes to an hour of my time where you can meet with me through webcam or here in Vegas and I'm gonna to explain to you guys a certain way that I invest. During this time you can ask me any questions or we can just talk and I can just help you the best way that I can. Quick disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor and during those 45 minutes to an hour I would just be giving you my opinion and showing you my strategy of how I invest and of how I made money. I also wanted to emphasize that I'm not just gonna give this out to those people who just put into giveaways. What I mean by that is that I want this to be one of my true subscribers that actually want the help and that can actually use those $100 to invest inside the stock market or in the crypto market. I've seen a lot of those people who just post giveaways on their page and then they end up winning stuff and that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm actually trying to help someone here. To enter this giveaway, you must be subscribed to my channel. I want you to comment down below what you're gonna use those $100 for. So let me know what stock you're looking at buying or let me know what crypto you you want to buy. I also have a post on my Instagram and on my TikTok. For those of you on Instagram, I want you to like that post and repost it to your story. And for those of you on TikTok, I want you to like my TikTok and send that TikTok to at least three people. The deadline for this is going to be Saturday, May 1st, and I'm going to be revealing the winner on Sunday, May 2nd. As long as you've done all of those things before May 2nd, then you qualify for the giveaway. I'm excited for whoever wins. I'm excited to talk to them and communicate with them and try to help them as best as I can. And I'm also excited to give them those $100 to help their investment portfolio grow. In today's video, I'm gonna be telling you guys what I did to make this much money in the stock market. People do think stocks are very hard, but if you just follow a couple little tips, I promise that over time, you can definitely start to make money in the stock market. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is choosing good stocks. And I definitely think that this is the hardest thing on the list, but people also make it harder than it really needs to be. One of the major things that I wanna talk about here is that you do not need to buy a stock just because it is cheap. People have the misconception that if they get into penny stocks and they end up having more shares, that they are actually gonna make more money over time. I'm gonna give an example here. So we're gonna use SNDL, which is Sundial Growers. They're currently trading for 84 cents. So if you put $1,000 into SNDL, you would end up having around 840 shares. The next one I'm gonna show you is gonna be Google. So Google is currently trading for around $2,200. If you put $1,000 into Google, we're just gonna average it. We would say that you would own 50% of one of those shares. So what that means is that with Sundial Growers, you own 840 shares, but with Google, you only own half a share. Now, I'm not saying that SNDL is the worst stock and that Google is the best stock. I just use these because SNDL is a penny stock and Google is a major growth stock. The point I'm trying to make here is that you need to look at stocks in percentages. So if SNDL went up 10%, but Google went up 30%, you invested $1,000 into both companies. And although you have 840 shares of SNDL and only half a share of Google, your money in Google actually ended up making you more because you made 30% of $1,000 versus 10% of $1,000. And people really do just get caught up with trying to buy a cheaper stock. I've had many people message me, hey, what's a stock under $50 or a stock under $20? With fractional shares today, you really don't need a stock under $20. If you only have $20 to spend, then just put that in a major growth stock like Apple, Google, or Amazon. That is a very important concept that you need to understand. So don't just pick a stock because it's cheap and that you hope that it goes up and that you're gonna have a lot of shares of that stock. I'm not gonna be giving out stocks this video, but I do have a video on my YouTube channel that is the best investments for beginners. If you're a beginner and you want help on deciding what stocks to choose, make sure to check out that video. And those are definitely some stocks and ETFs that I'm invested in myself. The next point, this is gonna be one of the biggest things that I need you guys to understand and one of the biggest things that I do that has definitely helped me make money over time. I'm serious, this is super huge and you need to do this. I've said this many times, you need to invest consistently. I'm gonna say it again, you need to invest consistently. Pick a dollar amount that's fine with you. It might not be the same as mine. If you can only invest $20, I've said this, if you can only invest $20, $30, $50 every two weeks, then do it. Don't pick a huge dollar amount like $300 if you know that in two weeks or in a month or in three months, you're not gonna be able to invest that. Pick a dollar amount that works for you. I'm gonna tell you exactly why this is so important. Let's say you buy a stock for $20. So in order for you to start making money, you need the value of that stock to go over $20. Now let's say payday comes and that stock is now worth $10. So yes, as of right now, you're losing 50% of your investment on that stock. Let's say you buy another share of that stock and now it's only $10. Your average cost for that stock is now $15. So in order for you to start making money, all you need is for that stock to go over $15, not 20, and you also have two shares. So now when it does start going over 20, now you're making even more money because you have two shares. That's a very important concept because it is honestly very hard to time the market. And as long as you're investing consistently, 
you're gonna be buying the stock regardless if it's going down, going up, going down, going up. You're just gonna be in the market during all that time. And again, you'd be wanting to do this with good long-term stocks or with good ETFs. I'm not saying to keep investing consistently in those penny stocks and you're just gonna keep losing money all the time. The next way that I make money in the stock market is by seeing red as a sale. You need to have a good mindset with this. You can't tell me you go to Starbucks and if they charge you $2 for that coffee, you're gonna be mad about it. I'm telling you right now, if they told me a Starbucks is $2 today, I'm gonna go and buy one. That needs to be your mindset with stocks as long as you're in those good ETFs if you're in those good long-term companies then you should see red as a sale who cares if it's going down you're not gonna sell the stock right away you're holding it long term buy more of it I'm telling you when I see red I want to buy more I wish I had more money to buy more and the reason for that is is because in the end I know I'm going to end up making more money because I was buying at lower prices. I'm not exaggerating about this. Every time I see red, I wish I had money that I could buy during that time. Especially when the market's dropping a lot, people get scared, I get happy. I know that in the end, I'm gonna end up making more money. So this next way that I made money in the stock market kinda ties with the last one. And that is just for the simple reason that I don't panic or I don't panic sell when the market is going down. I'm gonna show you guys exactly with the chart and with research of why you do not need to panic sell. On this chart, I have QQQ, which is basically just 100 biggest companies, Excluding financial companies and I also just have spy which is basically the 500 biggest companies so QQQ is gonna be blue and spy is gonna be purple so as you can see here in 2008 right before that huge recession QQQ was around $50 we'll say it dropped down to $28 look $26 that's almost a 50% loss so those people were very scared and if you just waited it out I'm not even saying to invest consistently I'm just saying wait it out you can definitely see how much more those ETFs grew over time. Yes, granted, it is 10 to 12 years later, but you would have definitely saw profits way before that just for holding. I'm not even talking about if you were investing consistently, how I said, and buying on those red days. Even if you just held your money, you would have definitely made a lot of money. You cannot sell your stocks when the market is going down. That is probably the worst thing that you can literally do. I understand people have financial struggles, so if you gotta pay for your rent, you gotta pay for food, Okay, I understand. But I'm saying for those investors who just get scared, they have money and they just don't wanna end up losing money, you're not gonna lose money if you're invested in those good companies and if you just hold and reinvest consistently. While I was editing, I realized that I missed out one huge important part of what helped me make money. And that is just for the simple fact that you need to be a long-term investor and not a day trader. All of you who watch me either on YouTube or TikTok know that I am a long-term investor. It's just literally for the fact that you have more chances of making more money long-term than day trading. I'm not saying you can't make money while day trading. I'm just saying that it's a fact that if you're a long-term investor, you have a higher percentage of making more money than if you were just day trading. I posted it in other videos and I'm gonna post it here again because it is just so important. There are articles saying that even those professionals who try to day trade still can't outperform the S&P 500 most of the time. I just want you to let that sink in because if professionals can't beat it, it's gonna be very hard for you, me, and other people to beat it. Again, for my day traders out there, I'm not saying it's impossible to make money. I hope you're making money. It's just I want many people to know that, especially if you're a new investor, just be that long-term investor and you will start to see gains over time. Trust me, the research and charts show that you can definitely make a good amount of money by long-term investing. Those are gonna be the major ways that I make money in the stock market and that have definitely helped me make those thirty-six dollars to $37,000. I promise, if you just follow a couple little steps, you can definitely start making some good money in the stock market over time. Don't forget about the giveaway. Remember to qualify for that, you must be subscribed to the channel. You must comment down below what stocks you're gonna buy or crypto, like my Instagram or TikTok page. And if it's on Instagram, you must repost that to your story and you must send your TikTok to at least three people. You don't need to do both Instagram and TikTok, just whichever one you prefer. Make sure that is done by May 2nd. I will be checking to make sure that you qualify. I'm super excited and I can't wait to meet whoever wins this. With that said, I appreciate all the support you guys have given me. It's been huge. I am definitely gonna be doing more giveaways in the future. I'm gonna leave my Robinhood link down below in the description. Make sure to click that, sign up, and get started with investing if you haven't. And you already know what my favorite thing to say is, let's keep growing our wealth together. Until next time, guys.